Room service or going out for dinner? <laughs> Who am I going out to dinner with? If I'm going Whoever with you, you want. Man. Whoever you want. If I'm going with you, you're always paying. Chris, I, I'm room service. <laughs> I'm Chris, room service. Uh. First, we're just gonna talk about NBA life in general. Yeah. Things that you've liked about it, things that you haven't liked about it, the travel. Well, how is it different than in college? How is it different than at Villanova? What's been better, what's been worse? You want me to answer that? Yeah, I want you to, I want you to elaborate <laughs> on that a little bit. Um, now, the travel, I feel like I'm never home, honestly, yeah. compared to college. And you're a homebody? Yeah, I'm a homebody. So, I do like getting away. I like sleeping in a hotel bed, so yeah. depending on the hotel we're staying at. Best hotel we have? Best hotel, Four Seasons, Philadelphia. Philly, ooh, that's a new one. It's brand new. That's that's a new one. One. You like going up that elevator? No. <laughs> no. For those of you that don't know, that elevator goes what? Like the lobby. So the lobby's on the top floor. Yeah. So you got to go up to go down to your room. Yeah. So, and you're way up there. Yeah. It's, it's like, glass. Like, yeah, it's, the tall, it's like the tallest building in the city. Yeah. You see so the whole thing. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Whole city. All right, so that's the best hotel. I, I would, could agree with you on that. You got to a pool area in that hotel? I have not. I did a pool workout with Brett and Eric in that mm-hmm. hotel. You got the view of the whole city. So I haven't been out there. Infinity I, pool. I do like the pool in. New York. The Four Seasons in New oh, York. Yeah, it's super cool. nice. Yeah. Super nice. It's weird. You're on like the fourth floor. Yeah. You jump. You yeah. can feel yeah. that you're not believe you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. All right. Now, when we're on the road, when we're in these hotels, when you're lounging in the bed, when you just got done being at the Four Seasons pool, video games. I know you're a That's gamer. All I do. That's what all is, I do. Quarantine was easy for me. I'm good. I got my snacks, my video games, and I'm good. My music, I'm fine. I'm easy going. What ones do you play? So, How do you set it up? How do you bring that on the road? It's actually funny, I have like a travel monitor that's about a little bit bigger than like an iPad size. And it just folds up, has a case, goes right in my book bag. Um, and then I'm switching over to PC, but right now I have console. So like I just throw the console in my book bag. Um, HDMI cord, right like that, play Call of Duty everywhere I'm at. Um, but then I also have like, new. I have, so Eric, the equipment manager, um, will have tournaments at FIFA. Yeah. So we recently just got oh. Shemmy yeah. on Involved. board. So now Shemmy's on board. And it's easy because now I can take the HDMI right from the, the little iPad thing yeah. and put it in the TV. Nice. So then we, we don't have to play on the little screen <laughs> yeah. with three people next So to who's me. best at FIFA? I smack Eric all the time. I don't know about Shemmy. You haven't played him yet? I don't, I don't know about Shemmy, but. What's he talking? Heavy. Really? Yeah, yeah. Shemmy's a big talker, all so right. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see on that one. All right, so video games on the road. Now let's take it back home. Home, I know you just moved into a house. <laughs> yeah. Not the apartment guy, I know you got dogs. Yeah. What's it been like moving into a different place that's got a yard and it's home and it's, it's your own building? It's way better. I think the biggest the biggest thing for me, it, it sounds so small, is like when you're driving home, you pull into your own garage yeah. and you're in your house. Yeah. It's way different than pulling into a parking garage and go you got to go elevator. see people and yeah. go up the elevator and talk and kind of, yeah. um, if you're not in the mood, you just go right in your house and you're right inside. Right. So having the yard is awesome. We got the dogs at home, we got two of them at home. So um, it's easier, like you can just let them out in the morning, feed them. So you don't have to take them for walks. Right, the right, right. Can you tell us a little bit about each dog? And then I want to go into I know you're passionate about animals in general, sure. animal rescue. Yeah. I want to get into that a little bit afterwards. So we have we have two. Um, first one I got, I got back in college, my junior year. Um, he was a rescue. We were actually going for my family to get a dog, and we ended up seeing one, uh, my girlfriend and I. And, and you know, Morgan was like, I want the dog. So next day we came back, <laughs> and I was like, listen. I'm in college. I, yeah. don't, I don't have that much money. And they right. were like, well, good for you. It's like only like a $200 dog. <laughs> so we got that dog. And uh, he's a small guy. He's like 25 pounds. Uh, he's like a like a pug mix. And yeah. then recently, there was a senior dog at the Humane Society. I do a lot of work in the Humane Society. And we were there visiting. And there was an 11-year-old dog. I have no idea what her breed was. But she's around the same size as the one we already had. And uh, family gave her up. She had a little bit of arthritis issues. and. 
you know, I, we just we thought let's try to give her a good home for as long as we possibly can. Um, got her on some medicine. Now she's thriving. She's running around the yard and, and they're enjoying themselves. So. You say how do they work together? They, they at they first fun. they didn't. Really? At first they didn't. My my daughter that I've had for a while was like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Um, but now now it's cool. I got an old man and an old lady at home. So nah, usually you think of like an NBA player with dogs. Yeah. You got like a bulldog, golden retriever. Right. I got two little ass dogs yeah. that are older than me. <laughs> they run around the backyard. Yes. So with the Humane Society, the work you do there, uh, animal rescue, something you want to continue to do, something you want to do yeah. after you're done playing? Actually, yeah. Like um, We actually started looking at it, my family and I. Um, the goal is to kind of get a bunch of land and kind of set it up where we can have our own rescue facility. I want to set it up a unique way where if they don't get adopted, they just stay on our property for however long they live. Uh, when I have trainers on campus and stuff like that, and my, you know, my mom and dad kind of, that's who got me involved in this. So we've had rescues my whole life, so they're gonna run that portion while I'm playing. And mm -hmm. then afterwards, that's kind of where I want to turn my attention to. Have you thought about how to partner with animal rescues or yeah. humane societies? Yeah, so a lot of the dogs that the overcrowded shelters, they get put down. So um, working with these shelters of the dogs that are kind of on that quote unquote chopping block, but right. um, take them into our facility and kind of take the, the older dogs, the dogs that aren't getting adopted or the aggressive dog, kind of work with them and um, get them trained and just try to get them in and out of our facility. And if they don't, they just stay with us. That's awesome. That's really cool. All right, we're going to move from that to hobbies outside of the humane society, outside of the animal rescue. Outside that, of video games? Outside of video games. What else is there? that I know you've been trying to take up here in the last oh. year or two, <laughs> and I want to hear how it's going. It's going well. You're talking about golf? Golf. Yeah. Golf. It's Gone. a new thing in this It's in going city. well. Oh, yeah. Oh. Perfect. Good rep. <laughs> I'm not on your level. I'm not on coach's <laughs> level, but I'm not on Saints level, but, you know, Charles Lee and Chris Middleton. Yeah. Get them out of there. Um, <laughs> you play with Chris? I play with Chris. He, you beat he, Chris. I have beat Chris. He's going to say I've never beat him. He's going to say, but you know how Chris is. 100%. Um, Why does he think you've never beat him? Because he doesn't want to admit it. When, give me an example. Like, how did you beat him? We was it match to, play, stroke play? It was stroke play. Okay. We went to actually beautiful course, Aaron Hills. Oh, one of my favorites. Yep. Me being knowing about golf, I thought we were going to drive a golf cart. <laughs> and <laughs> Chris was like, hey, bro, we got a caddy. I'm like, cool. Yeah. And then we got to walk the whole thing. Yeah. And, and it's I got was, hills. <laughs> yeah. But Aaron Hills is its name yeah. for a reason. So I beat him that game. And all of a sudden afterwards, he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I quit the last three holes. I was tired. This and that. Like, you know, Chris. Yeah. Chris is, and he don't want to give me any credit. Of, of all gonna, people. I'm not going to live. I know. Yeah, I'm not going to let him live it down. Hey, I know what it is. Y'all just hate waiting on me to find my ball. That's what it is. <laughs> no, you're on your phone. That's what it Charles, is. Charles, all I'm saying is Chris ain't come back. What if I don't want to come back? What if I don't want to come back? What if I don't want to come back? You don't have to. I want this. Especially after you say we out your league there. We just took a hard break right here. You can tell that. But you've enjoyed it? You've gone to the driving range a little bit? Super fun. Driving range is fun. I used to try to just kill it every time. So now, like, working with the irons and kind of working on where to hit the ball, where placement, where your eyes are, it's hard, but it's fun. Favorite club? 9-iron. Oh, I like it. Why? Because you're it's old just, number? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just like nine iron just because I'm, I mean, you can hit it that range that, you know, it's yeah. not, you don't have to kind of smack it. Just nice, easy swing. Get, it get some height under yeah. it, too. All right. Speaking of Chris, we're going to talk about. I don't want to talk about Chris. Oh, well, you might want to talk about <laughs> this because this is going to be able to put him on blast a little bit. We're going to talk about there seems to be like a shoe thief in the Oh, it's Chris. And it's Chris. I, yeah, 100%. And I've heard that it's your, you're the victim of said. Well, there's theft. multiple. There's multiple thieves. There's but multiple thieves. 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 Wow. Shut up. Thieves. <laughs> George Hill. Glad yep. to have him back. But I saved a lot of shoes last year when he wasn't yep. here. <laughs> um, and George and Chris, for some reason, wear sizes 12 through 15. Oh, God. You know, coaches, AAU coaches, family, friends, something. I'll just get shoes in. And yeah. All of a sudden, Chris like, damn, where, where'd you get them from? And all of a sudden, next day, they're out of my locker and they're nowhere to be found. 
But he got some he got some shoes on his feet in a couple in, in like two weeks he'll have a, a fire pair of shoes. I'm like, damn, where you get them? He'll just walk away from me. I'm like, those are mine. <laughs> you check the size hey, on? Yep. George George is like George will own up to it. Got it. Chris won't own up to it. George will be like, yeah, bro, I took these. <laughs> Speaking of George, we're gonna talk about the bench mob reunion, even though <laughs> You've progressed into a starter mob, starter Dante, bench as we call him. Yeah. We keep bench mobs intact. What's it like to have George back? It's amazing to have George back. I mean, you guys wouldn't allow me to be a part of bench mob, so <laughs> for me to be in this conversation is, is an achievement in itself. But nah, George, having George back, I mean, I talked about this so often. He was my kind of that shoulder I leaned on my rookie year to try to figure all this NBA stuff out. Yep. And, um, National Fathers and Sunday. Your father and son. Oh, man. Hey, I did not tell him say that. Father and son. Best dad in the world. It was cool last year, even though he was away, he was a still a resource for me. And having him back now, it feels like, you know, I've, I've, you know, it feels like I've played with him for way longer than I've even been in the NBA. So it's, it's right. super cool to have him right. back. Right. Yeah, I think I, I agree. And uh, on that point, team culture, I think what some people don't understand is the way within the NBA, starters, bench, at some point in time, that rotation, you're playing with a little bit of everybody. Yeah. And I said playing with George in Makes that team culture. Eat. Yeah, everybody, like if you could have a team with George on every team, they would benefit. Yeah. Like having him out there, just he, one, he wants you to succeed and wants you to grow. Mm -hmm. um, he's comfortable with who he is and comfortable with what player he is. And at any time, if, if he's like, yo, you need to be aggressive, he can just turn it on. Right, 100%, I couldn't agree more. All right, now, last thing we're going to do is an either or. So I'm going to give you something, and you're going to pick which one out of the two you would take. Do I got to explain it? Or just you don't have to. Uh, it's sometimes you might want to, but you don't have to. <laughs> All right. We're going to give that up to the dealer's choice. Uh, some will be easy. Some will be a little bit harder. Um, iPad or laptop? iPad. That's easy. Real estate or stock market? Oh. That's a Pat Connaughton question. <laughs> um, let's go real estate, just because nah, I'm learning like from you. I like that answer. Uh, Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream cake. Oh, yeah. mix and match, I like it. New level. Ear pods or over the ear headphones? Ear pods, we call them ear pods, bro. AirPods? AirPods, AirPods. AirPods. Uh, AirPods. Like, like, Even though over the year. It could be Beats, it could be Apple, it could be JBL. I don't know people's sponsorships. I know you got okay. it different than I got it, so I had to make sure. <laughs> AirPods, bro. Uh, Jordans or Air Max? That's a good question. Air Max. I'm a Nike guy. Good answer. College or NFL? Football. Football? So I've been NFL like my whole life. Yep. Until like two years ago. Saturdays in my house yep. are like what people's Sundays are. Yeah. Like I have the games on all day, blasting. I love, I'm, I've become like a big Georgia Bulldog fan. Yeah. I have no idea why. I just love watching them play. So, the college dog, football. The yeah. dog in you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sweatpants or dress up? Sweatpants, yeah, man. You can dress up with sweatpants. True. <laughs> some, some of us can. Room service or going out for dinner? <laughs> Who am I going out to dinner with? If I'm going Whoever with you, you want. Man. Whoever you want. I'm going with you. You Chris. always paying. Chris, I, I'm room service. <laughs> Chris, I'm room service. Uh, dunk or three pointer? You can go two you different know, ways on this. Yeah. One. <laughs> two different ways. Let's go. Let's go three. Three. Go three. three is worth more than two. Yeah. Buzzer beater or poster dunk? Oh, poster dunk. Yep. Demon shit. Oh, oh. I like that. Poster dunk. I like that. Luxury sedan or luxury truck? Like SUV. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Why not both is right. You've had nah. both. Which one do you like better? Luxury uh, truck. Truck. Yeah. Um, Trevor or Eric? Eric. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Trevor. Like, Eric, my that was, dog. That was quick. Eric's my dog. Matching your game shoes to the jersey or having that flashy contrast? I know you like the red shoes. Right, come so on, bro. Fine. You know me. You like the contract? I got wear bright red shoes. Every game. We don't have a red uniform. I don't know if Not you guys know that. We don't have red in our colors. <laughs> Ever. Hot or cold water? What are we doing with it? So are you showering? Are you drinking water? Like it's whatever you want. If you need it, if you could only have hot or cold water the rest of your life, whether it be shower, whether it be drinking it, which hot. one are you taking? Hot. You're gonna be drinking much water during the game. Imagine so. showering with cold water for the rest of your life. Yeah, it'd be horrible. You'd be like going to the ice bath. Yeah. 
Cards or movie? Cards. Oh, all right. Yeah. You don't even play cards on the plane. Nah, they play for too much money. <laughs> I, like, I like my money. Well, me too. Uh, I've seen you play the hold of timeout. I've which which you, table do I've I play? Seen you play on the big, I've seen you play on the big table. When? Last year. No, you didn't. Yeah, huh? You play one trip. Like, you'll play one trip, win, and then never go back up there. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's not fair. Smart. That's, that's not fine. fair. No, that, the reason I played one trip was because I got con conned into playing again after I played with Chris when he took us to the AM so football Chris, game. See, Chris did it again. Yeah, Chris did it again. Yeah. It always comes back to Chris. If you were going to do something with basketball after your career, would you rather be a coach or a GM? Coach. Coach? Yeah, GM. That's a lot of pressure. You're going to deal with Chris's every day? Yeah, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never hey, mind. keep it PC. Keep it PC. <laughs> um, dad hat or fitted hat? Dad hat. I'm with you on that. Can't wear fitted. You're buying shoes. You can't go on Nike Elite. The sneakers app or StockX? Bro, sneakers app sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, so sh out, that sh sells out before you All right, can log in. StockX or Goat? I use both now, but I have been go since they just started like first why started. i don't know i think like one i get them i receive them quicker yeah um and two from what i've noticed and now i've been using stockcase a little bit like goat has the prices are a little bit lower yeah not always but like from what i've found with certain shoes i order they're a little bit lower you I know agree. twenty dollars like for it matters for us 380 for sure. versus 400 like for a pair of sneakers yeah 100 percent. freshwater air force is down on its feet right now free yeah, free is right. All right, that's all I got for you. You got anything else? Anything else you want to discuss? Anything else that's hard hitting? Anything else that's going on Chris, in your life? Chris, you're my least favorite teammate. Love you, brother. <laughs> it seems to be an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're keeping a PC here. Appreciate you, brother. For sure.